You're watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. Well, it's that time of year, and I don't know why it is, but bugs and rodents are a particular problem for many people in their homes. Yeah, I think I had a run-in with one yesterday. Yes, you did. Those are the droppings, right? Yes, that's proof. Make a mint. Make a mint. Trying to find that, that little mice. Where am I? Oh, gosh. <laughs> and Sydney was never to be seen again. Yes, she, she is now. Oh, why are they so scary? Why are they so scary? Andrew Chrisman is with us, and he is with the Ohio Exterminating Company. As I, I'm listening to it, still hooting and hollering. Why right. are those little critters so I, scary? I don't know. They're so small and cuddly, but every time you see them, you just jump up and, freak and freak out. out. Do you right. still, after all these years? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Anytime good. you walk into one and it runs, you kind of get a little oh, skittish. So what so causes bad. this? Why do, why does Sean have this in her why house, are, and why do other people have, you know, like the bugs and the stink bugs? Why? Everything. Absolutely, it's a great question because they're just like humans. They want to come inside a structure, especially in the winter, for warmth, shelter, food, water, and your house provides all of that. Apparently I am quite yes. the hostess. Yes. Huh? But now that we know that they're there, I mean, without going to the nth degree and really, no offense, but jumping to the exterminating company, sure. yet, are there things we can do at the home? There, I tried this little peppermint spray gizmo. Right. Does there there are a lot of things that a homeowner can do. Exclusion is the main thing that you can do. Let's keep these insects and rodents out of the house. And there are a few items that you can buy at a Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever type of store you want to go to, uh, like weather strippings underneath your door. Uh -huh. So let's okay. prevent them from getting in. And Something this is like the this. container, yes. And then also your vents, your dryer vents. Yeah. There are covers that you can put in there so oh. animals do not get inside your vents. Is that how oh they're coming gosh, in? I never even thought about a yeah, dryer vent. Yeah, a lot of times they're going to come in from underneath your doors or voids where your air conditioning line goes into your house. Yeah. A lot of times they drill a hole inside the side of the house so they can run that line, but then they don't seal it perfectly. Oh. Well, you can buy a spray foam uh, and seal that hole. So are these, are these winter projects you can still do right now? Or once um, they're in, aren't you afraid of trapping them in your house? Well, once they are in your house, that's when you need to take other measures to get rid of them. Okay, let's move Such on to Such as? Those. <laughs> Such as. Well, for the rodents, we have bait boxes, and this has a bait inside of the box so a mouse or rat can crawl in and consume this really soft, palatable bait. Ew. And this is actually a packet that I found in a station that has already been eaten. They oh. ate the bait right out of this packet. And it's then a, they're going to be in there dead, though. They're not. So they're going to oh. crawl in one end, consume the bait, crawl out the other side, go back to their nest, feed each other, and it's going to eliminate the entire nest. So you're not catching just one at a time. Oh, I kind of like that idea. Like the old school rat trap, right. Right. which is very, very tricky to set and can be very dangerous. Yeah. But a lot of people want to see what they've caught, Ew. so they don't want the bait boxes. Okay. So we have a better solution to the rat trap. It's really easy to set for the homeowner. You just squeeze it, and eventually when a rat or mouse comes, oh, geez. we take care of it. I think we're going with the box. <laughs> so wait, with the bait box, they come in, they eat it. Do you find like this little colony of later on? Well, they uh, be a lot in of times, walls? well, they're sick, and it takes several days for the product to actually go through their digestive tract. So a lot of times they'll go outside because oh. they know they're sick and they don't like to stay in an area where they're sick. But every once in a while, yes, they will die in your walls, which they're doing right now of natural causes, anyways, and you're not noticing really Let any up. odors or anything okay. like that associated with it. I kind of feel sad about this whole thing. Well, I know, but when you've got one, is it true you've got eight? If you would see one mouse, are there really that They're many? very prolific. Yes. Uh, they stay pregnant for about three weeks and can get pregnant again one week afterwards. And they bring dirt and disease and everything with they them? They are. It, okay. it is an animal that brings disease. Uh, so if these things don't work, then we call you. Absolutely. So especially with the insects, the rodents, uh, we do a lot of extra things that a homeowner doesn't do. We dust the voids. This is a bulb duster, so I get a tracking powder behind the walls where they're at, so they crawl through it. It gets on their paws, they groom themselves, and they ingest the dust, uh, which acts like a bait as well. Okay. So we do a couple other measures so that the homeowner can do, uh -huh. but specifically for insects, there are a lot of products you have to know the insect that you're dealing with to use the correct product. Okay, give us a rundown real quick. Okay, absolutely. Great. We have products that are systemic. Mm -hmm. This is called Transport Micron. Mm -hmm. means when you apply it on the outside, it goes through all the leaves, the foilage, the vegetation. So when animals, I'm sorry, insects crawl across that, 
they get the residual on their bodies and it kills them. And that's what kind of insects? This is actually primarily for spiders because gotcha. it's also a micro encapsulated product, meaning after I apply it, it's a bunch of little BBs of water. Okay. So when they step on it, it disperses and gets on the insect. That's why it works better on spiders than ants. And if I don't ask about stink bugs, people will be mad. What do they do right. with those? Right. The stink bugs, you have to be preventative. You have to call in the fall before you have a problem. Don't think, okay, it's late October, I don't have a problem, I don't need the exterminator, because once you get the problem, it's too late. It's an exterior treatment around every single crack, crevice, window, okay. soffit, chimney flashing, they vent, are so everything. Hardy. So next year, <laughs> right? For next year, we know. Call right. in the right. fall. And another tool for a homeowner is this great Webster device okay. for spiders. It extends about 20 or 30 feet. You can get this at any store. Go around your windows, your eaves, knock down those spider webs. Right. When the spider webs are gone, the other insects aren't going to be by. Thank you so much. Thank you, You're thank welcome. you so much. Great stuff. And if you'd like more on the Ohio Exterminating Company and ask some questions yourself, go to myfox28columbus.com and click on news links.